Hi guys, how's it going? So this is like my second time trying to record this video. I tried earlier and then my camera screwed up and it started restarted and it didn't keep any of the footage. Um, today I'm doing a quick update on my Urban Decay Naked palette. I'm panning this. I started panning this back in January of 2017. Lo and behold, it's January 2018 and I'm still not done with it so I'm going to keep going. This is from my December update because I have not filmed that quite yet. I know it's like halfway through January, but whatever. Um, I don't have school currently today because we got out early because of an ice storm. So I am home avoiding going outside because it's like super, super icy. Um, it took me an hour to get home and it usually only takes me a half hour. So it's kind of nasty out. Um, so anyway, I'm going to be showing you my progress. So I, when I first started this project, I kind of thought that I would be able to finish this palette in a year. I had a shadow that was already finished up. I had um, two shadows, no, three shadows that had pan on it, and then a few shadows that were really close to hitting pan. So I'm kind of surprised that it's still, I still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of the 12 shadows in here still to go. Um, but I did make some pretty decent progress. I have managed to hit some of my goals. Um, so I'm just going to share them with you. So these three here were finished up a few updates ago. Um, my first goal was for Half Baked. Now, last month in my November update, I had about a little, little chunk down here in the lower half. And my goal was to finish that. And I have, and then I started working on this half here, which was like down to the halfway point in this pan. So I am almost done with Half Baked. I think... I could have this finished by the end of January, especially because this is the shadow that I wear pretty much every single day. Um, I've also been working on sidecar a little bit, but I typically wear half-baked more. Um, I have made a little bit of progress, but not a whole lot. Um, I will move on to this shadow after I finished half-baked. Um, I've expanded the pan quite a bit here in Naked, and I think I'm getting to the point where I might have to repress it. I've never repressed an eyeshadow before. Um, but this is getting a little hard to work a fluffy crease brush into and like not screw my brush up and totally wreck it. So I think I might have to uh, repress it and that might help me use it up a little bit better too because I've heard once you repress the shadow it tends to go a little quicker. Um, Buck, I have made a little bit of progress expanding the pan. It is a little bit longer. Now I use an angled crease or an angled brush with this and I just kind of run it along my lash line. It's a little too warm for my crease. I don't really typically like to put it there, but sometimes I will mix it with naked and run it through my crease. Um, I've also started kind of using it as a contour for my cheeks, but it's a little too dramatic so I don't do that too often. Um, I do have a little bit of a dent going here in hustle or smog, sorry, in smog. As you can see, it's a little divot. I do typically use this as an outer corner color. Um, one day in December, I used it um, all over the lid. I was going out on a date day and I decided to go a little more dramatic than I typically would. Um, so I did put that all over my lid. I haven't used Dark Horse often. So, I mean, sometimes I'll use it as an eyeliner. Sometimes I'll use it out in my outer corner, but that's about it. I have not used Hustle at all. Um, I do have a little tiny divot going in Creep as you can see. I typically use this with an angled brush as an um, eyeliner on my upper lash line. Um, a few times, especially if I'm using like, uh, what is this one, Smog? I keep forgetting that name. Smog as an all over eyeshadow. I will take Creep on a really um, small fluffy brush and work it into my outer corner. It's a little more dramatic than I typically like to do so I don't do it a whole lot. And then uh, gunmetal here I just I have not touched. I really need to. Um, so I think just for m my goals for January I just want to finish up half baked here and then maybe try to make a little bit more progress here in naked. I don't know when I'm going to finish that one up. Um, so yeah, I still have over half of this palette to go. I only really have three shadows finished. And then I also have this shadow here that I've kind of stuck in. This is an old Too Faced shadow. This is called In the Buff. It's just a matte white color. 
you can't even tell that I use it every day and sometimes I even touch it up and use it two or three times a day depending on the day it goes on my up, uh, brow bone and you can't even tell and that's a little disheartening but I am going to keep working on it just to move it out of my collection um, so yeah still a long ways to go I'm gonna continue panning this in 2019 I don't seem to get sick of this palette so I mean I guess it's okay that I haven't used it up yet and then once I get you know the lid colors that I have in here done I'm gonna start incorporating other palettes which will give me some new life and new looks so yeah that is my update for this palette um, and for this month for December I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you all are having a great day I'll see you next time guys be sure you subscribe bye guys